Ever wondered how to mine bitcoins? Well, let's unravel this digital treasure chest together. Bitcoin mining is the engine that keeps the world of cryptocurrency humming along. It's a two-fold process that involves verifying transactions and releasing new bitcoins into the world. Imagine a bustling digital marketplace where every transaction needs a stamp of approval. That's the first part of Bitcoin mining, verifying these transactions and adding them to the public ledger, fondly known as the blockchain. This ledger is a transparent and secure record of all transactions made since Bitcoin's inception. The second part is like striking digital gold. For every transaction verified, miners are rewarded with new Bitcoins. This is how new coins are introduced into the circulation, maintaining a balanced economy in the Bitcoin world. Bitcoin mining is a complex yet fascinating process that combines the power of computing with the thrill of treasure hunting. So, ready to know how I mine 19.3 Bitcoins at 28 years old? Before you start mining, there are a few necessary steps to take. First on your checklist should be a Bitcoin wallet. This digital wallet is essentially your bank account for Bitcoins. It's where you'll receive the Bitcoins you mine, and where you'll send them from when you want to use them. There are many free wallets available, each with their own features and security measures. It's crucial to choose a wallet that suits your needs and is safe and secure. Next, you'll need a stable internet connection. Bitcoin mining is a process that runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It requires a lot of data so a reliable high-speed internet connection is a must. It doesn't matter where in the world you are as long as you're connected. Now, let's talk about the mining rig. This is the hardware that does the actual mining. In the early days of Bitcoin, you could mine with just a regular computer. But as more people started mining, the difficulty increased. Now you'll need a specialized machine, known as an ASIC miner, which is designed specifically for mining cryptocurrencies. These machines can be pricey but they're the most efficient way to mine. Then, there's the mining pool. Imagine a lottery where you and a bunch of other people pool your tickets together. If any ticket from the pool wins, you all share the prize. That's how a mining pool works. Instead of mining alone and hoping to hit the Bitcoin lottery, you work with a group. And when someone in the pool mines a Bitcoin, everyone shares the reward. Lastly, you'll need a mining software package. This is the program that connects your mining rig to the network and the mining pool. It's the brains of the operation, instructing your mining rig what to do and keeping track of the work it's done. Once you've got these, you're ready to start mining. Just remember, mining is a complex process and it can take time to start seeing returns. But with the right preparation, you can join the ranks of successful Bitcoin miners. Hardware is the cornerstone of mining, so choose wisely. Our journey through the world of Bitcoin mining takes us back to the early days, when any average computer could mine Bitcoins using its central processing unit or CPU. This was a time when Bitcoin was in its infancy, and the complexity of mining was relatively low. But as more miners joined the network, the difficulty of mining increased, leading to the next evolution in mining hardware, the graphics processing units or GPUs. GPUs commonly used in video game consoles were found to be more efficient at mining bitcoins than CPUs. This was because GPUs could solve cryptographic puzzles at a much faster rate. They also consumed less power per unit of work, which is a crucial factor in mining profitability. However, the relentless march of technology didn't stop at GPUs. As the Bitcoin network grew and the mining difficulty rose, miners began to use Field Programmable Gate Arrays, or FPGAs. These devices offered better efficiency than GPUs, but they were harder to program and more expensive to produce. The current state-of-the-art in Bitcoin mining hardware is the Application-Specific Integrated Circuit, or ASIC. These are chips designed specifically for Bitcoin mining. They offer the best efficiency but come with a hefty price tag. ASICs are the most efficient way to mine bitcoins today, but they also consume a lot of electricity. That brings us to an important point, efficiency and electricity usage. Bitcoin mining is a power-hungry process. The more efficient your hardware, the less electricity you consume, and the more profitable your mining operation. When choosing your hardware, consider not just the upfront cost, but also the ongoing electricity costs. In this high-stakes game, the hardware you choose could mean the difference between a profitable mining operation and one that's in the red. So take your time, do your research, and make an informed decision. Remember, the right hardware is half the battle won. Mining alone is like finding a needle in a haystack, that's where mining pools come in. Let's delve into the concept of mining pools. Picture a group of miners, each with their own pickaxes, working together to dig for gold. 
Instead of each miner working alone, they combine their efforts to find the gold faster. This is precisely what a mining pool is in the world of Bitcoin. It's a group of miners who combine their computational power to increase the chances of mining a block. In the Bitcoin network, mining a block equates to solving a complex mathematical problem. The more computational power you have, the faster you can solve this problem, and the quicker you can mine a block. Now, you might be thinking, why should I share my rewards with others? Well, let's take a closer look at the pros and cons. On the upside, joining a mining pool significantly increases your chances of earning Bitcoin. Think about it, with the combined computational power of hundreds, potentially even thousands of computers, you're more likely to mine a block. This means you'll have a steady flow of Bitcoin coming in, even if it's a smaller amount per block, than if you were mining alone. On the downside, the rewards you gain from mining a block are shared amongst all members of the pool. So while you do have a higher chance of mining a block, the Bitcoin you earn from each block is less than if you were mining solo. Additionally, some mining pools may charge a fee, which is something to consider when deciding whether to join a pool. Despite this, the consistent income from a pool can outweigh the potential random rewards from solo mining. In the end, the decision to join a mining pool comes down to your personal preferences and resources. If you have the computational power and patience to mine solo, go for it. But for most, a mining pool is the best bet for steady, albeit shared rewards. A mining pool is your best bet for steady, albeit shared rewards. Next up, you'll need a mining software. Now this is where the magic happens. The mining software is your gateway to the world of Bitcoin mining. It is the bridge that connects your hardware to the blockchain and your mining pool. Think of it as the conductor of an orchestra. It ensures that all the components work in harmony, allowing you to effectively mine Bitcoins. There are several options out there. CG Miner, for instance, is a popular choice. It's open source, compatible with most hardware, and offers a high level of customization. BFG Miner is another great option, especially if you're using ASICs. It's also open source and provides detailed statistics and controls. But if you're looking for something simpler, Easy Miner could be your choice. It has a user-friendly interface that's perfect for beginners. Remember, each software has its pros and cons, so take your time to choose the one that suits your needs. With the software in place, you're almost ready to mine. Now comes the exciting part, mining your first Bitcoin. So, you've chosen your hardware, joined a mining pool, and installed your mining software. Now, it's time to dive into the nitty-gritty of mining. The first thing you need to do is to set up the mining software. This process might seem a bit daunting at first, but don't worry, it's actually quite straightforward. Once you've downloaded your chosen software, you'll need to enter some details. These will include your mining pool credentials, your Bitcoin wallet address, and your hardware specs. With everything set up, you're now ready to start mining. But what does that really mean? Well, in essence, Bitcoin mining is the process of solving complex mathematical problems or cryptographic puzzles. This isn't something you'll be doing manually, of course. It's your mining hardware that will be doing all the hard work. Now imagine these cryptographic puzzles as a kind of digital lock. Each time a puzzle is solved, the lock opens to reveal a new block of transactions. This block is then added to the Bitcoin blockchain, a public ledger of all Bitcoin transactions. And for your trouble, you're rewarded with some shiny new Bitcoins. But remember, the world of Bitcoin mining is highly competitive. The more computational power you have, the better your chances of solving these puzzles and earning Bitcoins. This is why joining a mining pool can be so beneficial. By pooling your resources with other miners, you can increase your collective computational power, and therefore, your chances of success. There's also the issue of Bitcoin having to consider. Approximately every four years, the reward for mining new blocks is halved. This means that over time you'll earn less Bitcoin for each block you mine. It's a key factor to keep in mind when calculating potential earnings. And that my friends is how I mined 19.3 Bitcoins at 28. You can do it too. So, are you ready to dive into the world of Bitcoin mining? It's a journey that can be both challenging and highly rewarding. Good luck out there and happy mining. Let's quickly run through what we've learned today. We began by preparing for the Bitcoin mining journey. We then dove into choosing the right mining hardware because your tools matter. Next, we joined a mining pool to increase our chances of success. After that, we installed the necessary mining software, the brains behind the operation. Finally, we started the thrilling process of mining our first Bitcoin. Thank you for joining me on this journey. 
Remember, with the right setup and a bit of patience, you too could start mining bitcoins.